Hi guys, this is Keith Galley, and today I'm going to teach you some general strategies to win Connect Four almost every time. We'll begin with uh, just kind of the most important strategy, I think, is to try to play this center column as much as possible. So as you can see, there's three pieces down right now. Uh, the reason you want to play the center column is because you have a lot more places where you can win if you're there. Um, look, so if you look at this piece right here in the direct center, it, you could win diagonally like this. You could do diagonally all the way up here. Or you could have this as the bottom left piece and win diagonally like this. Uh, same for the other diagonal direction. Um, and then there's a bunch of different horizontal ways you can win. And you can also win vertically. So you have a bunch of different combinations of places you can win. So it's probably the best spot to put it in. Uh, you can't always do that, but as a general rule, you want to play in the center of the, the board. Um, as a counterexample, if Red put his piece down here in this bottom left corner, he could only win in one direction vertically and one direction diagonally. So this is kind of a dumb move to make in an early game. A second strategy that you should always be using is to try to think a couple moves ahead and create traps for your opponent. For example, one thing that you can commonly do is create a trap with three on the bottom row or on any row. So let's say I put a piece here and the opponent decides, oh, I'll just put a piece here. Um, kind of, he doesn't see that I have an opportunity for four in a row because he just said, oh, I have two in a row, it's not a problem. But the thing is by putting his piece here, he has kind of given me the win and I can put a piece here and then he has to either put his piece here or here, but either way, I will win with four on the bottom. On the topic of traps, one formation you should always strive to build is this seven formation. So let's say the opponent put his piece here. What I'm trying to do here is create a seven because if I have a seven, so I'll put my piece here. So as you can see, I'm one piece away from having this little seven right here. And the reason we want that is because if I have the seven, then that means we can build this right side up. And even if he blocks me going four in a row here, I still will win automatically by putting my piece next here. So it's kind of guarantees a win and it's a trap for your opponent. So as yellow, one thing I might try to do is I'll play my piece right here. So as you can see, I almost have four in a row right here. So on the next turn, when maybe he plays a position like this, I can put my piece down here and then he has to, unless he'll otherwise he'll lose, put his piece and block me right here. And as a result of that, the seven that I was trying to build, I kind of forcibly made him allow me to make that. Um, he can kind of respond in any way he likes. Basically, he's not going to be able to win though, no matter what. Uh, maybe he puts a piece here. Uh, then I'll put a piece here, he might put a piece here, probably will, and then I win diagonally. Some final piece of advice are to always be checking your move and the implications of your move. Um, basically, you want to always, before you drop your piece, make sure that you're not letting your opponent create a four in a row or maybe create a trap or something. So kind of always be looking out for, for those types of things. Um, see, like he just blocked me because I would have three in a row and that was kind of not good for him. Um, and I'm always like looking out at what is he trying to do by that last move. Um, some of these things you kind of develop an intuition for, um, but you can kind of be conscientious of, of your moves and what they're allowing the opponent to do. Um, in addition, I try to block... Um, if I ever see an opponent has two in a row, like I'll try to make sure I block him from getting three in a row um, as long as um, it doesn't cause me any more problems by doing that. Uh, sometimes I let them have three in a row depending on where we are at in the game. But in general, like you just want to limit your opponent's opportunities while creating opportunities for yourself.
Um, so right now we're just playing a kind of a game. I think I have the upper hand on him. I'm trying to create a little seven right here, as I mentioned. I also have outs diagonally here and diagonally here. So it'd be pretty good if I could get this position right here, because then I have a uh, four either here or here. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, he also let me have this piece. So as you can see, I got that position I wanted. Um, he's kind of messed up now. I created a trap for him. So if I put my piece here, he can block this diagonal piece, but he cannot block the kind of second move I can create from that. And he didn't even go for the diagonal. All right, that's uh, all I'm going to do for this video. If you have any other board games or any other type of game that you want explained, uh, please leave a comment below. I also am going to make some educational videos on uh, math, algorithms, physics, etc. So also leave any feedback about what you want me to produce as far as that goes. Thank you for watching.